probably about eight. six. Six or eight. What we're doing here at the Murray, it being Australia Day today, we're actually surveying and breathalysing river users. And what have you guys been doing today? Um, today... Floating down the river. And uh, we've been drinking the whole time. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Very good. Uh, we floated down from Mungab uh, Mun to here for Australia Day. Had a few drinks. This research is a partnership between James Cook Uni and Royal Life Saving. And what we're aiming to do is go beyond, I guess, our understanding of the coronial data and try and get understanding of general river users' attitudes towards river safety, what they do at the river and if they're drinking at the river as well. If I have a few drinks, I usually chuck my jacket on my life jacket and then I'll, I'll just float down. And... I don't think that alcohol is a good idea when swimming. Um, I think it's best just to keep it at home. Quite often we find that young people get in the river and they float from one point to another and they take a lot of risks and some of those risks include drinking and, and doing a lot of silly things like jumping off bridges and other obstacles. So we need to focus on safety around the river but more specifically educating young people about the features of the river and the features they need to avoid. So there's a very clear relationship between alcohol and the risk of drowning. About 40% of uh, adult river drowning victims had been consuming alcohol prior to drowning, but the average blood alcohol reading was 0.2, which is four times the legal limit. People underestimate how much they've had. I've only had two beers. And what you forget is those two beers are actually 1.6 standard drinks, so you've actually had three beers. Or I've only had five of them, I've only had two of them. I well, no, you've actually had four because you had two at home before you came down and had two down here. So they forget that and then they also forget the onset of the effects that alcohol is going to have. So they might have the two and feel fine right now, but in an hour once your body started to process it, well, yeah, I was fine an hour ago and dabbling my feet, but all of a sudden that alcohol's kicked in, a bit more bravado, a bit more courage, a bit less inhabitants, and uh, that's when problems start. It's all about increasing public awareness and education about the dangers of the river and how to recreate in them safely.